Okay, pop quiz. And for the sake of drama, let's just say your job depends on it. What's the number one threat facing your organization's security? I'll give you a hint. It isn't some new type of virus, and it isn't the cyber warfare division of a foreign military. It's your own people. As your chief security officer, I can tell you your biggest risk is you know who in shipping. It's a certain someone in charge of the warehouse, and it's <clears throat> on the sales team. Two thirds of people use the same password everywhere, and an alarming number will click on any link in their work inbox. But the biggest threats are also your biggest assets. A philosopher might call this a dichotomy, but you can call it a problem with a solution. Because you need every one of those link clicking, attachment opening, weak password creating, beautiful human beings to keep doing their best work. I'm sorry, what? No, she's not here. No piece of software will ever stop quite so many attacks as a workforce that is trained to spot and avoid threats. Start by training them to recognize the signs of phishing attacks. That means using caution when clicking links or opening attachments from unknown senders. And if something does go wrong, tell your people it's okay to let IT know what happened. Those are some good first steps. But being the person responsible for your company's security culture is an ongoing part of your job. It'll take some work, but will pay off when you don't wake up to a headline with the words massive and breach, or when you don't have to spend a week cleaning up a ransomware lockout.